All right, guys, welcome to another Honey Hole Angling Fly Tying video. Today, we have Zach Harris on the vise. I'm Landon. I'm Zach Harris. And so, Zach loves tying articulated streamers. The other Zach and I decided to pick his materials for him, and we really came up with a good hodgepodge of colors for y'all today. So Zach's gonna be tying an articulated streamer in the funkiest colors available. I don't know if these are the funkiest available, but definitely the funkiest I've ever put in my vice, that's for sure. We thought that you need a little bit more pizzazz in your life. Pizzazz. You, since you only like olive and shades of beige. Shades. <laughs> for your flies. Shades of beige. Hey, that sounds like a like a movie. <laughs> Zach Harris, Fifty Shades of Olive. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. It's X-rated. All right, so I tied in some rabbit zonker, I think. Some smurf zonker. And we are going, we're gonna roll with the pink schloppen next. What hook are you tying on? That. The back hook is a Gamakatsu BTNS in a size four. Over the front hook. That's gonna be an Arex Chop Predator in a size. Um, number two. Let's see. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna get some slopping. I'm gonna tie the tip in so it has a taper, starts with the shorter fibers, ends with the longer. Get a bait fish taper. Honestly, how are you feeling right now that you let me and Adair pick your fly colors? You know what? I'm feeling confident. Just are gotta, you? Okay. Just gotta okay. get out there, give 110%. You know, let the, the opponents know that you're not afraid of them and roll with it, you know? I don't know what I was saying there. My feathers all twisted. Ugh. I'll wrap up the hook. Actually, can you look in my box and get me a brush to brush all this out? All right. Here's your makeup box. Hey. You want a big brush, tiny that's brush. that's honestly though it's what it is. I think this will work. It actually is a makeup box. I know. Yeah, it's a stage kit. I'm not lying to our listeners, watchers. You can just throw the brush on the desk there. Brush his leg hair with it. That's actually what I do. I leg that. hair makes fantastic dubbing for Frenchies. Do you know that? <laughs> As this belly button went. Oops. Uh, pro tip, clean your brushes out before you use them. So I'm just untrapping any trapped fibers. I'm gonna brush it forward. Build a little head. That's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna wrap it. Now, have you tied this specific pattern before, Zach? Oh yeah. I used to tie it all the time. Just with different colors? Yeah, with better colors, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we put a marabou wing on it. Yeah, it is it's an appropriate time for a wing. Huh? You're not near the face of the fly. Whatever, oh, dude. Go tea. <laughs> go tea. <laughs> I'm gonna take my marabou and I want it to hang into the tail. Oh, well, this is a long tail, but about a third of the body into the tail, if that makes any sense. So if you take this body and you section it into thirds, a third of that length, roughly, into the tail. And what we're doing is we're creating... So if you look at most fish species, bait fish species, top half is dark, bottom half is light. So with the colors given to me, we're gonna do our best to do that. Thread head, doesn't have to be pretty. You're not gonna be able to see it. Whip finisher.
try not to trap too many fibers in there. Put in our front hook. Zach, how would you fish a fly like this? What would you fish it for? Um, these colors? Yeah. Probably fish it for something out of a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> <laughs> Um, with a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Let's. I'd probably throw it for bass, and I would. Um, you can slow strip it. You can use a, a fast retrieve. There's all sorts of all sorts of predators in the right conditions. Something bright like this is a good thing to go with. Where did my eyes go? This, and I and I haven't been salmon fishing, but this is seems like to me when I look at salmon flies, they're really bright flies like this is a lot of times what they fish. I've seen, yeah, I've seen some bright blue. I don't pay a whole lot of attention to salmon flies just because if I look at them too much, I want to tie them because they're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And that is just a whole other animal that I just cannot get into. Now, are you talking about classic salmon flies? Both spade, like, class, like the, uh, the, the intruder style flies and the classic yeah. ones. I think you would be, I know you don't want to get into it, Zach, but I think you'd be a really good, uh, if you want to do like the classic salmon flies, do yeah. that kind of tying because you are very keen to like detail and intricacy and that's what those flies take. And you're okay with spending time on a fly. Right. Yeah, I can see that. So I think you kind of have the natural, uh, I would say, skill set, fly tying skill set that would be good for like the old school classic salmon flies. I appreciate that. That's a compliment to me. I don't know if anybody else takes it that way. I take it that way. So now I am putting my beads on my wire to help keep the back hook from fouling. What kind of beads are those? Are those glass beads? Glass beads from Hobby Lobby. They're glass, check glass beads. Make sure Hobby you Lobby. go watch our uh, Hobby Lobby video where we walk through Hobby Lobby and point out materials. The price on the tube, I can't promise you that it'll always be that price. But when I bought them, $2.99 and you get a ton of beads. They have probably 50 different colors. Different sizes. Different sizes. Oh, yeah. It's hard to beat. Even shapes. That's one thing. Pay attention to the shape because not all of them are shaped the same. And typically want round beads for what we're doing right here. All right, so we got the back half of our streamer tied on. Now, if you notice, my dumbbell eyes are real loose. I'm gonna lock them down with this wire. This is a great trick. You did it in another one of our yep. videos, but. We're gonna bring it over one side, wrap back a little bit to lock it in place. Bring the other side over, wrap back a little bit to lock it in place. Then we're gonna do our under wraps. And those eyes will literally never come off of this fly. You'll have to cut them off. Also, I'm gonna match. For those of you that haven't watched any of our other videos, I use an old pair of scissors to cut this wire. If you use your good scissors, you will destroy them. Old pair. You'd also use wire cutters. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. You could, but wire cutters are big and bulky. And Not the, uh, if you use the electrician's ones, they work really well. No, no, I don't use those. So. They're $8 on Amazon. All right, so we're tied in. That back hook will never pull out. Just because I doubled that wire over these eyes, you can probably do pull-ups on them. They're not going anywhere. Dink. Woo. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tie in an articulation cover, which is basically a fancy way of saying another wing, but I'm gonna tie it 
So that way it covers up those beads. Another goatee. Another goatee, yeah. I don't know which video is coming out first, but if you guys haven't watched The Sparkle Fart, or if it's not out yet, <laughs> you need to go watch it. It'll be out before this. Okay. It's already out. It's, it's already gonna... out. We're from the future. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, what a mess this is. All right. Oh my God, I just Ooh. dropped my scissors on my foot. Point down? Mm, luckily, no. Still made me pucker a little bit though. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes puckered. I winced. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> all right, so that just helps cover those beads. It's not perfect all the way around, but it's okay because I kind of want the red on those beads to flash a little bit. All right, now we're gonna go back to pink slopping. No, we're gonna put the rabbit on there. We're gonna kind of this leather piece, I'm gonna hang it just over the beads. So you have a little bit of hair hanging back there. I really like that color rabbit. It's very unique. It is very unique. It's really cool. I mean, it's ugly. I don't like it. I'm just kidding. I think it's badass. You know, and I have some friends that are gonna be watching this thinking, what the hell? Are these colors he's got on here? Well, you can blame it on us. Me and Adair wanted to torture you a little bit. Get you outside, step you outside of your comfort zone a little bit. Out of the olives and the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tan. <laughs> now, notice I did not cut off the rabbit because I'm going to use that as a... upper part of the body. I'm going to get two colors of slopping. This time. And I'm going to tie them in right on top of each other. And with these streamers, notice I'm not... All these thread wraps are not perfect and pretty because they're all going to be covered up. You don't have to cover everything perfectly in thread. As long as it's on there to keep it on there. You're good to go. Gunnar Brammer does a video where he says you should only need three thread wraps to lock your materials on. And I've, I use more than three, but he's not wrong. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the two feathers and I'm gonna use one of my handy dandy Hobby Lobby tools, pinch it, and we're gonna twist them up. And I'm gonna brush as I'm twisting. This thing <laughs> looks delicious. Like literally, I'm not just saying that. I would love to take a bite out of it. Looks like an energy drink, energy drink that you would drink. It does, like the ghost sour watermelon. There's a plug, sponsor me. <laughs> it does look like Laffy Taffy. All right. That could actually be the name of this fly. A Laffy Taffy. I forgot I'm gonna bring my thread right behind the eyes. No, I'm gonna not hit the camera. Bump the twice light. In a row. Bump the light. I'm gonna fold these fibers back as best as I can and wrap forward. You know, there's been a FOP that was like a mechanism on the body that would help them. Right? <laughs> like a DeWalt. <laughs> <laughs> Brush or wrap forward. Don't want to go all the way to the eyes, but I want to come about a hook eye away from them. Trim that out. Brush fibers back out of the way. Wrap back over these just a little bit. Got a nice colorful belly. I'm gonna spread them to the side. I'm gonna bring a rabbit over it. Okay. Let's see what you're doing now. You wanna part that hair as best as you can. Put a couple thread wraps in there. 
Sometimes it's easier if you lick your fingers to hold the hair forward. One more. Now I'm gonna bring my thread all the way up behind my eyes. I'm gonna get a couple wraps, tight wraps overlapping each other up here. My bobbin is loose, so I keep pulling too much thread out. fly. It's actually kind of cool. <laughs> that didn't make sense. You called it ugly and then yeah. said it was cool. Now I'm going to take some rubber legs. We're just going to keep stacking materials on this until you can't tell what it is. These rubber legs are the span flex normally used for Nymphs. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll make it work. The other Zach can take credit for that one. <laughs> yeah, you did you did say you could pick out whatever ones we wanted. You know, this was back. a test. How did actually. I know what you were tying? You didn't tell me, you just said pick out colors. This was a test. And you told us what you were tying was a surprise. It could have been a nymph. I didn't know. You just said pick colors. I thought I was helping you. You know what, Landon? I think it's a surprise for all three of us at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Try this again. Now I can find new orange legs. No, 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 no. It's happening. <laughs> These legs are kind of curly. I don't recommend them for streamers. <laughs> in fact, I think I put too much rabbit on here, and that's okay. Oh my god, I moved the whole camera. There we go. Okay. So now... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> wait until we cut these these patch rubber legs on there. Take some dubbing and we're gonna make the head. <laughs> and I'm not so sure how this is gonna come out. I think these guys just like to screw with me. Honestly. Is it hot in here? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm stacking my laser dub. And if you watch the lunch money video, I'm essentially doing that. We're gonna put one thin clump on the back, top and bottom, and one thin, uh oh, one thin clump on the front. Where on earth did I tie that one in at? We're gonna have to back up here for a second. There it is. You know, I could have stayed home and played Tears of the Kingdom all day. <laughs> Rather than hanging out with your best buds? A little bit, yeah. Trying to fly the raw rib fish? Dude, I would fish this fly. I would fish this fly too. 100%. Yeah. So after you get done taking your pictures, I'm gonna, we want to take it fishing. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can have it. We gotta, we gotta rock Actually, the for it. Speaking of uh, Legend of Zelda, the Korok rotisserie, this fly is going on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know what I'm talking about, which you probably don't because you're all cool people. You need to go watch that. Now I'm going to get my darker color. <sighs> I'll 
put the darker color on top. Just to get some order back into this. It didn't look like anything changed. You pulled and readjusted, pulled and readjusted, and the clump looked exactly the same to me <laughs> when you were done. It doesn't have to look good to you, Landon. <laughs> Doesn't let you know. <laughs> what a nightmare. This was a horrible idea. No, dude, I think it's great. You're just saying that because you don't want me to don't want me to tell you not to post it. I think it's good. That was exciting. Exciting? Yeah. It's that one that like people who don't fly fish would see and be like, oh you fly fish. Yeah, that's the yeah. problem. <laughs> 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 Alright. Go back and kind of. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing on the front. Except, you know what? I'm gonna do purple both top and bottom. This fly is also a good intro to our iron fly, too, because you were kind of given a batch of materials you had to make something happen with. Yeah. You're not wrong. So, in October. Honey Hole is hosting an iron fly at Faust. Brewing, Brewing Company. In New Braunfels. Yep, New Braunfels, Texas. Um, an iron fly, if you don't know, is a fly tying competition where you are given random materials. It could be fly tying materials, it could be drag show materials, it could be Halloween costumes, it could be all sorts of different things. And you're supposed to tie a fly with it. Um, and the rules usually consist of craziest looking fly, ugliest, most fishable. There's different categories. Yeah, it could be a bunch of different things. Oops, no, we're gonna do purple on both. But, so like today, I had a little say in what was going, but they gave me a bunch of random materials, essentially, random colors to tie with. I'm making something happen with it. And this would be an iron fly competitive or competitor here. But so we are gonna do our very best to get some really cool raffle prizes, door prizes, um, and then contest prizes for this iron fly. If you are in the area and can make it, we highly encourage you to come. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I think we confirmed a tattoo artist. Yes, there will be a tattoo There's artist gonna there. It's going to be live music. There's going to be a film. But it's going to be a lot of fun. We're doing this to raise money for Real Recovery. Uh, if you guys have been listening for a while, you have heard us talk about Real Recovery. It's a, a non-profit retreat that takes men with cancer and teaches them to fly fish. Um, it's, it's a really good... Organization. The main, get, the main get group counseling while they're there called Courageous Conversations. They get to hang out with guys that fly fish, and it's just a really, really cool organization that helps um, a, a really good group of people, men with cancer. Dude, I really like that. Yeah, it's actually coming out kind of cool. So what we'll do now, I'm gonna brush it all to help situate all that laser dust. You blended that yellow really well too, in Thank the you. middle. Thank you. You actually turned it a disaster into something <laughs> actually pretty <laughs> dang good, honestly. So what I'm gonna do now, I think I decided that this tail is a tad, tad too long. I'm gonna trim that down. Don't forget to trim the rubber legs. Oh no, they're staying that way. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Tail is trimmed. Because I always forget to trim rubber legs. Yeah. Fill your box. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the field. Out, out on the river. Oh, the rubber legs are twice as long as the fly. Yeah. These Spanflex legs suck, dude. <laughs> they're so hard to cut. Clean it up, brush it out, get all this junk off of there. And obviously guys, you know, we made this video like 
half joking, half serious, but this is actually a fly that Zach ties to fish, but he ties it in more natural colors. Um, this is this would be a great fly for you to tie in olive or black or brown or white and take with you and fish to the river. I know we kind of went wild, but uh, this is this is a great fly if you want to try articulated streamers and pretty simple fly to tie as well. So um, you can just take what we did here and change the colors up and you have a more natural looking fly. Or if you want to be bold, be you, man. Yeah, it's 2022. You can be whatever you want. It's 2023. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2023. You can. I wanted. I identify as 2022. <laughs> there it is. You know that's that's not have. It's not as crazy as I thought it was gonna be. No, it, it, it looks out. good. No, it actually works. You took a disaster and actually made something out of it. Mic so. drop. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. All the. Material links will be in the description if you need to order the materials for this fly and more natural colors if you don't like the pizzazz. And we'll catch you all in the next video. Woohoo!